guys. Hello, Hello sugar. sugar. You won't believe what I found. What is it, Sugar? I saw this really strange and tall tower in the middle of the forest. It has no doors, no staircase, only a window. But it had the most beautiful girl I have ever seen inside it. Did she have really, really long golden hair too? Yes, yes. It was so long that at first I thought it was a rope. Sugar, you have just found the witch's hidden tower and the girl she took away from her neighbors many years ago. What are you talking about, June? I will tell you everything on the way, but right now we should rush to the tower. Sugar, will you show us the way? Yes, yes, let's go. So, this is the story I have heard. Once upon a time, a young couple lived in a village. They were going to have a child after many years of waiting. Next to their house lived a wicked witch. In her garden grew fruits, vegetables, and herbs of many kinds. One evening, as the young wife stood next to her window, she said to her husband, My dear, I have a strong desire to have some rampions from our neighbor's garden. Won't you get me some? But, my dear, the witch doesn't even allow anyone to step into her garden. How can I get you the rampions? I know I'm being difficult, but please, won't you do this for me? from my garden. You will pay for this theft with your first child. And true to her word, a few months later when their first child, a beautiful girl, was born, the witch showed up at their door. They begged of her to forgive them, but she didn't listen. She took the little girl and went away. No one has seen the girl since then. She named her Rapunzel and hid her in a tall tower in the forest with no stairs or doors. All it has is a window. The only person that Rapunzel ever gets to see is the witch when she takes the food and clothes for her. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so that I may climb the golden stair. Hello, Mother. How are you, my dear? See what I brought you this time. What is the matter, my darling girl? Aren't you happy with your new gifts? Oh, no, mother. They are beautiful. I love them. Thank you. Then what is wrong? I was just thinking, what use are these dresses to me when I can't wear them and go anywhere? 
What is the point of having such beautiful things, but no one to share them with? Rapunzel! I have told you! I will have no more talk of meeting more people! The world is not a safe place for you, child. Many a dangers wait to harm someone as lovely as you. That is why I keep you isolated from everyone. Don't you trust me? I am sorry, Mother. I did not mean to hurt you. Very well, dear. I will go now, but I will return tomorrow. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so that I may climb the golden stair. <gasps> Who are you? I am Prince Charming, and I have understood what the witch has done to you. I will find a way to free you from this tower. Rapunzel! 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 Let down your hair! so that I may climb the golden stair. Oh, Mother! How is it that you are so heavy and my Prince Charming so light? You let someone else into the tower? How dare you betray me! You shall never see your prince again, and you shall never return to this tower. Quickly, let's hide behind those bushes there. And there's the witch in the window. Where's Rapunzel? I can't see her. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair, so that I may climb the golden stair. It's a trick. The prince will get into trouble. Hush! Don't move, everyone. Maybe he will defeat the witch. Where is Rapunzel? Who are you? What have you done to her hair? You fool! You thought you could take my daughter away from me? I have banished her to the forest, but you will never see her again. You will be blind forever, and anyone who tries to help you will suffer the same fate. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! We cannot help him, but maybe we can follow him to make sure that he is okay. 
Yes, that is a good idea. All my life, I had longed to get out of that tower and see the world. But without my prince, the world does not seem as beautiful as I had imagined it to be. Where must my prince be? Who is there? Oh no! What has happened to you, my dear prince? My dear Rapunzel, I had set out to save you, but it seems that you have saved me. We will go to my palace and get married soon. Did you see that? It was like magic. Oh, how wonderful that was. They are both safe now, and they are going to get married. Yes, I just cannot wait to see their wedding. Let's go back and wait for the invitation.